Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I decided to do a video on digital art because it was highly requested after I posted my kind of first since a while digital painting on my Instagram. You guys have been wanting to see how I create my digital paintings, drawings and basically learn to know how I do this and what are my tips and tricks and some thoughts that I can share with you about doing digital art. So yeah, here we are in my today's video and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. So I decided to split my today's video in kind of two parts because first part will be uh, a little footage of me uh, actually drawing, showing my hand how I do this and how I draw on my iPad. And then the second part will be a uh, time lapse from the app that was uh, generated when I was uh, drawing there. So you will see everything more, let's say, clean and more uh, put together. So I hope you will enjoy this kind of format of today's video. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would like to see more. And uh, well, yeah. Let me tell you uh, my story about digital art and how I started and how everything happened. So uh, first of all, it's not my first time doing digital art here, this painting and this uh, previous one that I posted on Instagram, because I used to be really into digital art uh, the time I bought my first tablet, but uh, this tablet was this really basic Wacom tablet. Uh, uh, without uh, the screen, so it was rather this kind of tablet that you connect to your computer and you watch the screen of your computer and your hand is doing everything on the tablet. I hope you know what uh, I mean. And this is something that I got so into and I started to use it as a tablet for drawing. Of course, it took some uh, time to get used to it and it took some practice to actually be good at it but I remember I really enjoyed drawing my girls uh, using this digital method and I also was uh, not only doing everything in digital but I also um, I also had a while when I was sketching um, my girls on the paper then I was scanning it and then I was coloring it in digital and this I really 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 enjoyed and I remember I was doing it for almost like a year or something. I was crazy about this uh, method. So this really worked for me back then. And well, later on, I started to discover markers and I got uh, really into markers and uh, more traditional techniques. So I kind of abandoned digital art for a while uh, for the sake of traditional art, which I enjoyed more. And well, then until this time, I was sticking to markers and colored pencils and all that good stuff. And I didn't got back into digital art since the time I actually got the tablet. But well, since the beginning of this year, I was actually really considering buying an iPad just because it had the Procreate app that I see a lot of artists using it and loving it. So I was really considering if I should buy it because of course it's a little bit expensive and you need to kind of invest some money in it. But then I saw all those amazing pieces of art and I was just thinking that I would love to own the iPad and I think that I would really feel super comfortable with it and it will actually suit my style of work and uh, well it will be just comfortable to have something on hand all the time. So uh, I was really consider considering buying it for a while and then actually this summer I got myself to uh, buy it. I, I saved up some money and uh, well, here I am having my iPad and uh, I am absolutely loving it by now. So it was a good decision. And well, the iPad I own is 10.9 inches, I think. And of course I have the iPad Pro because this is the only version that allows you to have Apple Pencil that allows you to have um, the touch screen kind of uh, version, which allows you to have Procreate app, which I really wanted. So of course I needed to buy a little bit more expensive iPad, the iPad Pro. And anyways, the first thing I did on my iPad, it was obviously I installed the Procreate app and I started to play around with it. And well, to be honest with you guys, at first I really didn't like the app. I thought that the brushes were kind of off for me and they didn't allow me to achieve the effects that I really wanted and they felt quite unnatural. So I got a little bit discouraged of using this app and I 
and I again abandoned the digital art for a while. But a couple of months ago, I started to like it again because I saw one of my favorite artists on Instagram. She's called Blue Satan, I think. Uh, a lot of you, a lot of you guys probably already know her, and she's an amazing digital artist. I love her works, and I saw that she has to offer some uh, brushes uh, that she created for Procreate. So I went ahead and saw what she has to offer, and she had some sketching brushes, because a sketching, um, a sketching brush was something that I really needed and wanted for Procreate, and I thought that this would be something that will level up my digital work. So I bought her a sketching set of brushes and ever since I did this, I consider it uh, as my best decision when it comes to Procreate and digital art because really, if you have the proper brush, this can change everything and that this is the case for me. The sketching brush, the lines brush that she has in the, this set is just amazing i can't stress it enough so well this was a little bit uh, a long story and a long ex explanation but now i just want to explain a little bit more quickly how i draw the actual drawing so first of all i'm taking some random sketching brush uh, i like uh, the 6b brush i think this is what it's called and i'm just sketching the general outline of the drawing and here in this drawing i use the reference pictures of india marie i think she's called like that and um, i just based my illustration on this picture i didn't follow it exactly i didn't want to make a copy but i just used it as the reference like i said so first I'm sketching the general outline, then uh, I'm sketching a little bit more detailed uh, face with the lines brush from Blue Satan. And then I'm just coloring it in, laying the first base color, then I'm putting the darker uh, places, the darker shades. And then I'm putting the highlights and then I'm blending everything in with also another Blue Satan's brush, which is smudge brush, I think. But I also like the round brush from the actual the actual default brushes from Procreate and this is what works best for me and then I'm just going around everything a lot of a lot of times and I'm perfecting everything so this will make the whole illustration you can see on the proce process uh, video and yeah basically this is what works for me in digital and like I said I'm not a pro in uh, digital art so I want you guys to know this but I really hope that you like my digital art as well and I, I will be definitely making more so if you have any cool requests for me then uh, go ahead and let me know and uh, yeah I think that will be all for today I'm already drying my mouth because I talk uh, quite much and I hope you don't mind guys so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video like I said and uh, I can't wait to see you in my next, uh, probably Saturday's video. It's gonna be an awesome one. So take care guys and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!
deep, it's in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now.